Good dog and welcome to Rick to your PA Dutch Minute uh, viewer request video today. I got an email from someone asking for some phrases that you might use if you are watching TV with the family in the living room. I don't know how many families still do that. I hope there are some out there that not every kid's in their own room with their own tablet or computer just watching whatever they want. But uh, viewer request, so I put some phrases together uh, that deal with these ideas and let's work through them uh, quickly. So we'll start with um, the phrase to turn the TV on, so as a command, turn the TV on. And I have two phrases here. Both are acceptable. Uh, there is no, honestly, a word for television in Pennsylvania Dutch. Um, Dr. Richard Beam out of Millersville University uh, years ago created or came up with the word gook box, which literally means box you look at. I like that word. I use it a lot. Um, but you could just as simply say TV. Uh, instead of cook box, or if you have that thick Pennsylvania Dutch accent, say tiwi. <laughs> but um, well, I'm going to use cook box. It's it's a Dutch word. I mean, it's made from Dutch words, so I like that. So we'll go with that. So the two possible ways of turning on the TV to turn the TV on is mach es cook box aw. Mach es cook box aw. Or you could say dre es cook box aw. Dre S Gook Box Aw. So the next question is always the difficult one. Uh, what do you want to watch? And I've given the singular and the plural. So if you're it's just you and one other person, you want to ask that singular person, hey, what do you want to watch? You would say the top one. Was wit do gooka. Was wit do gooka. If there's more than one person, plural situation, do the second one. Was welt. Dear Gucke. Was welt dear Gucke. Okay, now the phrase, let's watch a movie. Gucke mir en movie. Gucke mir en movie. And now some phrases dealing with the volume. The first one, turn the volume up. I can't hear it. Uh, so turn the volume up. I can't hear it. Dre es nuf. Ich kann es net hera. Dre es nuf. Ich kann es net hera. And turn it down. It's too loud. Dre es nuna. Sis zu laut. Dre es nuna. Sis zu laut. Show's over, and you'll say, man, that was, that was a good show. Sell, war, en, gude, show. Sell, war, en, gude, show. And then finally, the movie was, in this case, the person said, the movie's boring. Der movie war langweilig. Der movie war langweilig. And of course, you could replace langweilig, which means boring, with any adjective. You could say the movie was exciting or uh, suspenseful or whatever. Then use your dictionary, look up that word, and just fill in that you know that blank there. So there are some quick phrases. Um, hopefully, you do get the opportunity to sit down with your family and watch TV every once in a while as a family. Um, but if not, then you can just practice talking to your imaginary Dutch friend there in the living room as you're watching um, TV. And as far as like movie titles and TV shows, we never or never translate them. So you would just use the English names for the movies and TV shows. Same way with TV channels. You know, if you want to say, let's watch the cooking channel, I wouldn't translate that into Dutch. I would say, Gukumir, the cooking channel, or Gukumir, uh, the travel channel, or whatever. Um, we don't tend not to translate those, just leave them the way that they are. Okay, so I hope that helped. Uh, get out there, practice using them, start memorizing them, practice, 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 it's the only way you're going to get better. And if you too have an idea for a future video or phrases you would like to know how to say, my email address is at the end. Please tell your friends to subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, so that you get updates and emails every time a new video comes out. And until next time, practice your Dutch and mox good.